hello everyone welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial you will learn how to create a realistic eyes inside of zbrush and maya so here i have a, a sphere this is a dynamic sphere that you can find it in your light box and here if i go to geometry here as you can see i don't have a very nice topology so i need to uh, make it right so I just go to geometry and here I have a zero mesh and put two here for polygons count and yeah that's all you need to do and just go to your brush press Z and the zero mesh here guide and here just uh, let me see where is the front view here is front view uh, if I just uh, go to the mesh guide brush and just press shift and move here I will have something like this but all right I think this is good okay just zero mesh it so I need a loop around the sphere so I can UV map yeah as you can see uh, now I'm in front view and if I just press uh, 7 on my cure this is for uh, seven for my move brush so you can just go to your brushes and select move brush if you press m here you will have a move brush here and just with alt press alt hold it and just drag and here you would have a nice shape for the eyes so here I need to create UVs so I just mask this mm. yeah just press ctrl w so here I have a two groups and if I go to my Z plugin and press this icon here, I will have on the left side my plugins. And if I go to UV Master and here turn on polygons, and here you can unwrap. And as you can see, I have uh, UVs here. So yeah that's uvs and this is our model you can move this part more to move out remember just press alt and move it so as you can see i have a very nice topology and uvs so we need to bring this model to maya and give it textures and create a materials for our eyes so yeah let's go to maya and create our materials and textures so it's time to export our iobj so we just go down here and in the export tab just turn off groups and just go back to the top and here you can export and rename it to eyes or whatever you want with uh, obj format and now if i go to maya and just go to file and import my eye obj so here i have it and now we need a material just select this eye and just go to assign new material here so here I have an Arnold tab, just select a standard surface and 
here I have my material let's rename it to all cornea color and put weight to one and here I have a color just click on this uh, icon and here I can select a file just go to my folder that I have text here I will give you this uh, texture files and everything guys don't worry and just open it and here you have it but we need to fix the UVs and match it with our uh, texture so we just go to UV editor and here we have it so for the back side let's uh, go to just right click and select UV shell and here I can select my UVs but I need to know where is the front and where is the back okay this is the back so we scale this UVs down and put it somewhere around here so in the front side we need this UV so we just scale it and here we have it so if I now just go to my object and here as you can see I have my eyes so yeah guys this is for our base color for our eyes now we can change uh, roughness to zero and change IR to one dot 500 maybe 50 and uh, yeah just go to subsurface color bring a weight to one select a subsurface color here and you can select the, this color again and go back and here for the radius we, we can select our uh, eye color again and can select random work too and for the scale uh, one is too much for this scale this is centimeters so we need something like maybe 0 0.100 we will see the result and yeah that's what you need to do for uh, color and we need a normal map so we go to geometry tab and here in the bump mapping just click this icon and just select the file and here I have uh, use as just select the normals and if I go to bump value here I have a folder that I click here and just select my normals so here I change a, a color space to raw and here I have a little bit normal map on my surface so that's it for normal maps and everything that we needed so let's go and create a maybe a sky doom light go to our lighting and for the color go to file and just select a let me select HDR studio HDR and let's render just default setting and just here select the Arnold and just render so we need to see what we have here so it's a little bit weird let's rotate Okay. 
Okay. All right. Now let's go to hypershade and bring our material and we can also change a color space to linear so this is more uh, realistic this one all right now let's render this and see what we have yeah now this is fine all right okay guys so we need to bring some notes here and mix some uh, stuff together so here if i press tab and bring another ai standard shader i miss remove it just go to preset and just change it to uh, glass replace all and what all you need to do and for we need a mask to tell here we have a glass and here we have a cornea color so we need to add a mask so how to bring a mask we just press tab and we just bring a node called a ramp texture and here we need to see how our mask working so we need to add another uh, let me see here Maya default Lambert and connect the color to color here and just go to our eye assign existing material and here Lambert 2 so we need to see what we have so we can work on this all right so I need to change some stuff here so we change it to radio no 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 to uh, circular ramp yeah and just move this guy here and let's see what we have yeah as you can see we can change it and make it bigger or smaller whatever you want So this is fine, I think. And keep it linear and you will have a gradient effect for your eyes. So you need, don't uh, mix it 100% together. Just leave it a little bit a space between them. So here you have a gradient effect. So the realistic eyes have uh, this gradient effect on it so yeah guys just uh, for the type circular ramp and linear and just change it to this and now that we have we are, that we know what we have we just delete this one and press tab create a mix shader so let's bring a mix shader here and just connect the out color to surface shader so here we have a mix that we give our mask 
so here we have a shader one and shader two so the part that are white is the color and the black part is uh, glass material so now let's go and existing material and just hide let's rename this before we do anything so we just delete this one and rename this to final and right click and select mix shader so let's render and see what we have so we need to change a mix shader so we just put a color this uh, glass to shader one and color to shader two so rename this to glass yeah and let's go and render this one once again yeah as you can see now we have a glass material here and our color there so let's go to options and make this 75% okay now we need uh, iris so let's move this guy rotate it to the upside down and here we need to bring uh, and create an iris so we just go to polygon modeling and here you have a polygon disk just press 3 bring this guy up scale it so let me scale this guy go to wireframe so we can see what we have and give it a new a new material and call this iris so for the iris we need a uv so just go to uv tab go to uv shell we have a, our already uv so let's uh, bring a texture just change the weight to one go to color and here the file and just bring your textures i add a texture xyz map but i will give you something free so you can use it but for this tutorial i want to bring a advanced uh, textures so we will get a more high quality result and here I just go to this find out our color here go to UVs and fix the position right we don't need any roughness uh, i mean uh, we don't need any glassiness so we bring a roughness to one we also don't need any specular so we just put it zero and yeah so i will add a displacement later just for now select object and just Go back to our 
so this is a little bit off let's move this to the middle things yeah that's fine okay so here as you can see I have iris and iris color so we need to add a displacement so we select our iris material here and here just move this node here and just go to displacement material and just select a file and here I have my displacement and if I go to file and bring a displacement here like this and change color space to raw and make sure alpha is luminized and let's render and see what we have so this is too much so we need to fix it and make sure your iris uh, just select your iris go to attribute editor and in the uh, iris mesh iris just uh, go to arnold and here subdivision type to catalog and put a two or three number here and let's control our intensity for our displacement so that was too much so we need to add a node called multiply so we can control the intensity of our displacement so just out color to this and we can connect a multiply to displacement so we bring a node called luminous and yeah just connect everything together and here we control the intensity so I put a 0 0.1 so we will see what we have here let's render it now this time we have a very nice result so yeah let's bring our eye Let's render it and see what we have. So as you can see, we have a very nice result. So we have a render here. This is our render. If you want to change a cornea texture, we can do it. We just select our I and go to mix shader click here to cornea and just we can uh, click here to go to color and do it for three times or we can go to hyper shade and here if I go to my mix shader and I have tree texture for cornea I can delete these two and just bring our new cornea texture change the color to a linear sRGB and we can connect the color to subsurface color and subsurface radius so yeah we there you have it and we can also go to bump and go to bump value and, but first we need to change this to bump use as a bump and here I bring my bump map I will give you these files so don't worry 
and yeah guys that's for the bump and you can also change the bump depth to zero uh, minus zero dot one and we can uh, change the roughness to maybe 100 and yeah that's all you need to do for a very realistic eyes so before i render this let's go to render setting change the preset image size to 2k and go to arnold render you can change it to 4 3 3 3 and 3 you can go to advanced use the auto bump in sss turn this on and here in the rate tab you can change the diffuse to 3 and there you have it we have a render setting and if you have a camera just change it to the camera that you have in the scene and just render it so let's render and see what we have so this is our end result for a realistic eyes so for the files that you will need to download you can check out the link in the description down below i will put a link to my cube brush store and here you can come and download uh, this uh, obj files for free and cornea textures and iris and everything and here is a iris texture that you can download also if you want to texture your characters if you want to be a pro at texturing and achieve this very realistic result here is the course that i made for rendering shading texturing and everything you need to learn is here for texturing your character so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you think about my teaching what i can do to make a better tutorials and hope you have an amazing day goodbye